Good morning everyone and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. Now it's been lovely to see that the rainbow has become a great symbol of hope during lockdown. But today I want to focus on the greatest symbol of hope that the world has, that is the cross. Our verse for the year for 2018 was here from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. The cross is one of the world's most recognisable symbols. It's not a crib or a manger, but a gruesome cross that is the unmistakable sign of the Christian faith. But when you think about it, that's very shocking, isn't it? At, for in the first century, crucifixion meant a shameful death reserved for the very worst criminals. We will shudder today at the thought of wearing a little gold electric chair or a silver hangman's noose. Yet around our necks, many wear an instrument of execution that was even worse. But the Apostle Paul was not ashamed of the cross. Among the sophisticated intellectuals of first century Corinth in Greece, he says he resolved to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, of course, Paul spoke about many areas of the Christian life. There was a resurrection, for example. But this resolve here expressed Paul's determination never to be deflected from the central importance of the cross in both his life and ministry, even when that made him unpopular. And you and I, we should delight in the cross too because of what Jesus achieved there. There at the cross, Jesus bore our punishment, securing our forgiveness. There at the cross, Jesus defeated Satan, conquering our enemy. There at the cross, Jesus set us an example, showing us how both to endure persecution and to serve others. In fact, Jesus himself, speaking about the cross, challenges us all. Mark 8, verse 34, Jesus says, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Well, will you be someone unashamed of the cross and prepared to live a cross-shaped life? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for the Lord Jesus Christ and his willingness to die for our sake. Thank you that through the cross we can be reconciled to you, both now and for all eternity. In Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, Christ crucified. Have a good Friday. See you next week.